What's good, family? What's good? It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I want to holler at you out a few ticks about this NBA draft tonight. Um, not every year is the NBA draft exciting. Why? Because not every year you get great prospects. Now, you pick someone number one in the draft who you think can be a number one. What do I mean when I say this? You pick someone number one who you hope can be the number one, the best player on the championship team. Like Jokic was the best player on the championship team. Giannis, the best player on the championship team. LeBron in his prime, the best player on championship teams. Um, you know, that kind of thing. Steph Curry, best player on championship teams. I'm saying that's what you're drafting when you're drafting number one. This is what you're hoping for. You're hoping to get that. This is what made all the hoopla about Zion because you see his potential to be that. And there's folks that still believe he has that potential to be that. No, And you see that hoopla this year about Victor Wimbayama. And rightfully so. I'm not going to say the brother isn't talented. People, I see Nick this morning a comparison to Ralph Sampson. The obvious comparison to me is Christos Porzingis. Victor Wimbanyama is seven foot five. Porzingis is seven foot three. Victor Wimbanyama has an outside shot. So does Porzingis. Victor Wimbanyama uses his extreme length to block shots. So does Porzingis. They do the same things. Very similar. I think Victor, I think Wimby is more athletic. Even though know, Porzingis is very athletic. I think, I think he's more athletic, and I think he handles the ball better. That's what makes this stand out. I think he handles the ball better, and he's more athletic. Even though Porzingis is very athletic for a man his size. The question is going to be, physically, how can he hold up? Because you see with Porzingis, he's gotten a little bit stronger, but guys physically maneuver him. Even though he's so good defensively with his length, he can be a good rim protector, but the, the physical bulk bothers him, which is why he ends up drifting out and shooting threes all the time. You don't want a guy that tall shooting threes all the time. You want him closer to the basket. It doesn't have to be direct post-ups, but you want him closer to the basket because that's where his extreme height has so much benefit because... The rim is right there for him. It's such a high percentage shot. It's a high percentage shot for anyone, especially someone who's that abnormally tall. Um, going to the Spurs, I think it's a beautiful thing for him to, to get the train on the pop. Pop has this experience. Um, my one concern, like everyone else is concerned, my one concern is injury. We have yet to see someone of that size physically hold up and not get some kind of serious injuries. And if they do, do they bounce back? Like, one can argue that Porzingis is just now bouncing back from his knee surgery. So, um, that to me is where the intrigue is with his career. I look at his skill set, and his skill set is a problem. I mean, you'd be blind not to see his skill set. Anyone can see exactly how talented this dude is. But um, my question is, can he physically hold up? My question is, how much will he bulk up? I don't never see him being stout like that, but how much can he put on? Um, the rest of the draft, we have some good players. I like Brandon Miller a lot. Haven't really got to see Scoot Henderson. He looks like a dynamic combo guard. But in a league where I have a lot of that. Um, Brandon Miller, a guy who can affect the game on both ends of the court. The offensively and defense, can handle the ball, can shoot. I like him a lot. I like him in Charlotte to play with um, LaMelo. Getting a dynamic wing like that to play with LaMelo, I like that a lot. I was really rooting for Jordan to get Wimbayama. I was really rooting for that because one thing Jordan has not drafted very well. If he got number one, then there's nothing to throw, no thought process needed. Take Wimby and develop him properly. Um, but my take on Wimby, the, 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 the young, young boy is very good. 
from what I've got to see of him, he's very, very good. I've been watching him the past year or so. Very, very good. Sky is the limit. And I do think he has the potential to be a number one. The potential being the number one player on a championship team. He has that potential. I wish him the best. I think it's going to be a good draft, not a great draft. But uh, you do have a crown jewel at the top. Uh, San Antonio Spurs, you're on the clock. It's your boy, Urban Sports Guru. I'm out. Salute.